Hello, I'm Zaki Rashid. Welcome to Matters of Opinion. Jurors convicted Anthony Sowell on multiple counts of aggravated murder and kidnapping in the deaths of 11 women and the attempted murder of three other women who survived after encounters with him inside his Cleveland, Ohio, Imperial Avenue home. Judge Ambrose also ruled the serial killer to be a repeat violent offender and sexually violent predator. That ruling means that jurors will be instructed that Sowell can only receive the death penalty or life in prison without parole. Judge Dick Ambrose will make the final decision on Sowell's punishment. He is not bound by the jury's recommendation, but cannot impose a death sentence unless the jury recommends one. The sister of one of the victims said, I'm glad it's over and he's going to get what he deserves. The question now is exactly what does he deserve? The victim of Mr. Sowell's crime certainly did not deserve to be brutalized and murdered. The families of his victims did not deserve the anguish and uncertainty of wondering where their loved ones were when they were missing. The families did not deserve to have to sit through a trial and listen to the gruesome details of one of the most horrendous crimes in Cleveland's history to find out exactly what happened to their loved ones. The jurors deliberated for about 15 hours over three days before returning their decision. And only one question remains. Should he receive the death penalty or life in prison? In my opinion, there's only one answer to that question. Anthony Sowell should receive the death penalty. Although I can't speak for the families of those victims, I know without any hesitation that if it were my mother, sister, or daughter, the only sentence that would bring complete closure to me in this case is to know that Anthony Sowell met the same fate that he brought upon those 11 women. Why should the taxpayers be forced to house and feed a monster for the rest of his miserable life? Well, that's my opinion. What's yours? Email me at zrashid at villagetv.org, or you can view this segment again and leave your comment on YouTube if you play Z.A. Rashid in the search box. We're now on Facebook as well. I'm Zaki Rashid for Matters of Opinion.